losing control. Some Jefferson City legislators want to put the state in charge of the St. Louis Police Department, and they're blaming Mayor Jones. He's turned the police department into a political creature, and it's not supposed to be political at all. How the mayor is reacting tonight. Good evening, I'm Ann Allred. Mike Bush has the night off. Just hours ago, the Missouri House of Representatives approved a bill with bipartisan support allowing the state to take back control of the St. Louis Metropolitan Police Department. The state originally took control of the department during the Civil War era. In 2012, voters returned control to the city of St. Louis, and that move became official in 2013. This new legislation still needs approval from the Senate and the governor's signature. Five on your side's Laura Barczewski is live tonight with reaction from both sides. Laura. And the bill's sponsor says that he believes state control is the only way the city is going to get a handle on crime. The mayor heavily disagrees and the chief she put in place believes in local control. Unfortunately, there's too many instances that led to this. St. Louis County Representative Brad Christ sponsored House Bill 702 to put the state back in control of the St. Louis Police Department because he believes city control isn't working. Our homicide and violent crime rates have doubled. Our businesses are fleeing. Over 500 have left the city of St. Louis in the past two years and has saved no money. In 2012, St. Louisans voted to return control to the city. Mayor Tashara Jones office put out this statement saying in part, this bill reverses the will of the voters. Instead of focusing on measures that would actually make our community safer, Jefferson City Republicans are working overtime to turn back the clock to the 1800s. This isn't about improving public safety. It's about power and politics. But Chris says it's not about politics. It should never be a political situation to run and fund a police department. And that's what's happened over the last several years. So this will give back the foundation, the basics of funding, the basics of employment of police officers and morale so they can perform the basic law uh, job of law enforcement. Chris says this bill would create a board that would run the department, the mayor and four people appointed by the governor. He says it will also increase officer salaries to help attract and retain. Chief Robert Tracy said in a previous interview with Five on Your Side, he's had success under local control. I believe in local control. And, and so the thing is, that's what people are asking me about. So uh, when you look at state control, uh, I hear positives and negatives. But I can only work in the system that I'm in, and I got to do the best job that I can. And, uh, and that's what I plan on doing, the city of St. Louis, whether we are state or local. Now, the House passed this bill with 113 in favor and 40 against. Of 34 St. Louis area representatives, only nine were in favor. Now, Chris says that once it passes, if it passes the Senate and if it's signed by the governor, that would mean it could be under state control by August. Reporting live in St. Louis, Laura Barczewski, five on your side.